Hey everyone, Sly here with Flo. And today we're going to talk about Quan Alexander, former 49er, visiting the Jets. Now Flo, we remember his time here in San Fran. Uh, remember he signed a big ass contract at the time. Four year, $54 million, $27 million guaranteed. What are your thoughts on his tenure with us and him possibly joining the Jets? Yeah, man, uh, I liked Quan Alexander when he was with us. Unfortunately, he did have that injury where we kind of lost them for the playoffs. But I remember he did come back for our actual playoff run. He did pretty good. Um, the only thing, we just came up short to the Chiefs. But he was right there. He was almost part of a Super Bowl championship team. So I really liked him. He, he was good. He's quick off the line. And, um, yeah, just another guy that the Jets are looking, former Niner player. And it just seems like they're picking up every single former 49er guy right now. What do you think, man? Yeah, I, um, you know, when we signed him, I was like super excited. I remember I was so hyped from him the first game when he came in. And I remember he got freaking kicked out of the game the first game but for headhunting Jameis Winston against Tampa Bay. And I was like, oh, gosh. And, you know, he was pretty good for us. But when he came back from the injury, honestly, I thought he sucked. He pretty much came back in the playoffs. He had the worst PFF grade <laughs> in the NFC Championship. I remember he would get to, got toasted by Rodgers when they made that little comeback. And in the Super Bowl, he had the worst PFF grade. He was pretty much gar hot garbage. And the 49ers got rid of him quick, but they had to pay that big-ass salary, that $27 million guaranteed. Yikes, that sucked. Um, it was a, I thought it was a bad signing. Obviously, we only had him for a year and a half. We traded him to the Saints. Um, it seems like, I don't know, the 49ers, they tend to do that a lot. They get these guys that they think are going to be this great superstar like Pierre Garçon, Malcolm Smith, all these guys, and just really never pans out these free agents. The, honestly, Robert Sala, man, this guy just loves all the 49er players. It seems like it's going to be a pipe pipeline, you know. Lincoln Tomlinson goes with them this offseason. Solomon Thomas goes with them. Uh, Quan Alexander's visiting with them. So, I don't know, man. It just seems like, and then now look at, they're trying to get, they're trying to get Debo Samuel. So, they're trying to get mostly all the 49ers players. So, man, Robert Sala is really trying to do the 49ers dirty, it looks like. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, he was a he was a pretty good player. He wasn't nothing great. He was not worth that contract at all. That was a that was waste of money right there. But I don't know. You live and you learn. Hopefully, John Lynch. When we do our free agents, we could do a better job at evaluating players and not just go on a spending spree like we've been doing uh, when we, with this tenure. But I don't know, man. That's my thoughts on it. Yeah, guys. Well, like you guys know, we like to follow every single forward or former Forty Nine er. What's a Niner? Always a Niner. So. We just want to take a look at this one. It's a little bit interesting, but let us know what you guys think about Quan Alexander uh, potentially joining the Jets. Do you guys care? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.